Hey there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of unique homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. In today's video, we're traveling all the way to Norway to take a tour of one family's Cobb home that is located inside of a dome-shaped greenhouse. And we're gonna meet the family who designed and built this home from scratch using only reclaimed and natural materials. I'm pretty sure that this home is gonna make you rethink everything you thought a home should be. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we publish a new tour. Welcome to our nature house. Come inside. So a nature house is a house inside a greenhouse with a water recycling system. When we use water inside the house, all of that water will go down in the basement into tanks and it will be broken down and be pumped out to the trees and the tomatoes. So we get food from the trees and the trees get the nutrients they need from us. Hi, we are Benjamin and Ingrid. We have four children and they are aged 17, 15, 12 and 6. And we also have four animals, two dogs and two cats. Where the house is located, it's right on the beach, so we have a nice view and we can just run down to the beach and have a swim. Yeah, I like that too, a lot. We moved in here nine years ago after we designed it and built it ourselves. We lived in a, a normal house before, which we rented. And then we wanted to, to have our, our own house. And we decided to build because it was very hard to, to buy a house here on the island. Since we are very interested in organic lifestyle and care very much about the environment and wanted to grow food, we decided to build a nature house. We didn't have any real construction experience, so I went to Denmark for a few days to a cob workshop uh, to learn how to build with uh, clay. It's made by hand. It's uh, sand, clay and straw, which is mixed together by feet. You stomp in it, uh, dance around and make uh, clay bread so that you can build with uh, almost like soft bricks. one and a half year from start until we moved in. It costs a little over three million Norwegian kroners. The dome was about one million. The dome is also the most expensive part of the house, but it shelters the house from wind and rain so we don't have to ever do anything about the outside of, of the house because it doesn't get uh, exposed to weather. It was quite cheap because we built it ourselves and because we used clay and straw and, and sand. sand.
this is the dome. It's our greenhouse surrounding the house. People think it's very humid in here, but it's not. It's actually a dry greenhouse. We have these vents on top of the dome mm -hmm. that open up. And we have these pipes buried underground, like two or three meters down. And they are 45 meters long. And mm -hmm. there are two of them and they come in to the greenhouse. And they take air from down, down by the sea and the air is cooled down underground. Mm -hmm. So when it comes in to the greenhouse in the summer, we get this cool air in and it will be sucked around like this and up and out. In the winter, when it's cold outside, the temperature underground is a bit warmer than outside. We get heated air into the dome. These trees, the branches, they grow very fast. The ground here is very dense with nutrients and uh, especially in the spring, it just explodes. It, it happens very fast. This home has changed our lifestyle because of the yes. plants, the trees, all, all the work. Yeah, we have to do a lot of gardening. We have to do a lot of pruning, especially with the grapes. I think they grow a, a meter in every week, at yeah, least. So. We have to do a lot of pruning all summer. When the fruit is ready, like right now, the apples, some of the apples are ready and the plums. And so the cherries. We, the cherries too. So we have to put everything else aside and harvest the fruit when it's ready. Winter is a time when we can just rest and have a pause. There's no growing here during the winter. We live north of the Arctic Circle, so we don't have sunlight for three months. Mm -hmm. So this is the hall and here we have a staircase going up to the children's rooms and this is the second floor. This is where our three boys live. We also have the terrace on the second floor. This is the bathroom uh, and here we have used leftover tiles on the floor from I think five different homes that had some leftover tiles lying around and we also have um, stones on the floor from the beach. And we have cup holes, like in the rest of the house, which are great for bathrooms because they absorb the moisture very well. Actually, in the bathroom, a lot of people say, what is it with this bathroom? It smells so good in here. Mm. And you know, it's a place where you poop. Uh, but, <laughs> but people say it smells good in the bathroom mm. and they don't know exactly what it is. I think it's the clay walls because uh, yeah, of the moisture in, mm. in there. So you get this clay smell mm. all the time. In the wet zones, like on this shelf and behind the sink and the bathtub and also inside the shower, we have Tadelokt, which is a stone polished lime plaster that can breathe, but it's, uh, it's waterproof. 
This is the shower. Downstairs we have the basement with the tanks, the water system. And here we have living room. The walls in the house are cob walls, which is a mixture of clay, sand and straw. As you can see, the walls are very thick, massive, and when living inside a greenhouse, uh, that's a good idea because the house won't get too hot when it's sunny outside because of these thick, uh, massive walls that will store the, store the cold from uh, the night and during the day they will heat up and store the heat during the night. So we get this constant nice temperature in the summer inside. So this part of the house is the only part that's coming out of the dome. It's not inside the greenhouse, this little square here. And it's also the only part that's not made of cob or straw, it's made of wood. And this is pallets, old pallets that we collected. It's also my yoga space where I like to roll out my yoga mat. The floor is also cob, just like the walls. But this one is treated on top with uh, linseed oil and beeswax so that it's waterproof, we can spill water on it and we can wash it. And inside we have waterborne heat, which is heated by the wood stove uh, in the winter and by solar collectors in the summer. But if we don't have sun and we don't use the fireplace, then the electricity will kick in and take over. And here we have our dining area. This table is uh, my husband Benjamin, he made it. He actually made pretty much all of our furniture. And it's made of driftwood and uh, the chairs are second hand. And he also made this chandelier from driftwood. The kitchen is made of leftover wood. And my husband, he built it to fit into this very organic shaped room. It wasn't very easy because we don't have any straight walls, no corners, it's just round shapes, but he managed to do it. And this is actually my favorite room and I spend a lot of time here because I love cooking. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another unique home tour.